want to welcome back everyone to a Better Me series, Roots of the Spirits. Today is March the 23rd, 2023. I have one, one birthday today, and that birthday is my baby dad, Larry Ellis. Happy birthday on today. Enjoy your day. Wishing you many, many more to come. All righty. Now, we have come down to our prayer. Oh, gracious Lord, we come to you humble as we know how, Lord. Thanking you, first of all, Lord, for your grace and mercy that you extend daily toward us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do in our behalf. Lord, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus that you will go out and visit those who are in need of your special touch, your blessing, Lord, upon them, Lord. And uh, go out into the nursing homes, the hospitals, those who are getting ready to have surgery. Lord, we ask that you be with them doing the procedure, Lord. Oh, Lord. Again, thank you for all that you do and what you're going to do. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And next, I would like to apologize for getting this list out of order, the fruits of the Spirit. I submitted the wrong video on yesterday, and the scripture, you no know, goodness comes before faithfulness. So uh, we're going to, and I do apologize again, uh, but we, however, we're going to proceed with today's spirit, spirit of fruit, goodness, okay? Definition of goodness is moral excellence or admirableness, the quality of being kind, helpful, and honest. And our scripture for today is Psalms 37. Verse 3, trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. We are called as Christians to live in a way that reflects the character of Christ. Matthew 5 and 16 says, in the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Goodness is not about doing elaborate things to gain recognition. Oftentimes, it is the small acts of kindness we do throughout our day that means the most to others around us. I found this article on Daily Devotion website, Spiritual Life, and it was written by Laura Abram. Goodness is action. It's not something we do only for the sake of being virtuous. When we strive to do good only for our own benefits, it is not truly goodness that we possess. Did you know that? In other words, if you expect something in return, did you know that if you do that, then you have already gotten your reward and probably missed out on the awesome one that God had in mind because of the motives behind the deed. In 1 Peter third chapter 13, verse says, And who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? What an assurance. Just because we are led to do good because it is right to do. What an assurance we have. God will protect us from harm and not only that, he'll meet our every need. Who wouldn't want that? Only a person that does not believe. I 
apologize. There are so many benefits in life in following God's plan for our lives. Step by step, day by day, we can do this. And he told us how we can do it. Once again, I thank you for visiting this site. May God add a very special blessing upon you with his increase. I love you dearly. Really, I do. Until next time, if the Lord say so, let the words of my mouth and the fellowship of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Go out and spread some goodness today.